Sinfonia Concertante, which is the work that I've written for Esprit, has a number of different elements in it. Uh, one is the title, Sinfonia Concertante, means a symphonia that involves soloists within the orchestra. And I've had a long association with Esprit and Alex Pauk, and I know the musicians. And so one of my goals for the work was to uh, have a fair bit of soloistic playing. The subtitle of the work is uh, The Husband Killer's Dream, and it's based on a, a Nordic myth of the, of the husband killer, and it's one of these sort of, uh, folk tales that uh, I've known for a very long time. So I loosely pinned the narrative of the piece on that. Loosely meaning there's no, nothing happens in the piece that refers specifically to events necessarily in the, in the myth, but there's, there's a certain trajectory which I hope that people will feel and understand as it moves through a certain, and, and a certain dramatic shaping that, is, that refers to the, to the myth. Nothing sounds like a symphony orchestra. Nothing on this planet sounds like that group of mus musicians together making, making music. The other thing is the spree has the best musicians that you're gonna hear. So that when you, when you sit down there, you're hearing these musicians with such command of their instruments that it is kind of breathtaking in and of itself, regardless of the music that they're playing. Contemporary music, I think, is is more um, immediate and exciting and vivid than people sometimes think. Either you, you, you come to the symphony hall and you hear Beethoven, which I love, absolutely, but contemporary music is like contemporary art. It has a certain immediacy to it and a certain, it speaks of today. And I think that uh, those who come to these pre-concerts will experience that.